Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. You think you know your stuff? We'll get in on our $200,000 mega contest and pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at a weekly prizes at a share of 200 k $200,000. It's ridiculous. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over 150 slot games. Head to the website today to get in the action. Bet online. The game starts here. Let's re- let me read the email first, Joe. We'll go back to that. Next one's from Jim Lennon. Subject is the drama finally finished. Recently, Tessa Blanchard has been doing the podcast rounds and straight up addressing what she was going straight up addressing what she was going through during those times when it seemed like ninety percent of the women in wrestling the IWC with no proof to confirm any accusations. It is ran what is hundred percent fact because they read it online and that's enough evidence for them. And harassed her via sweet hurts and responded. So do you have these quotes? Oh, yeah, let me read this. Okay. So Chelsea Green says, honestly, someone, oh, just like, okay, I'll read you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, that's his quote, not Chelsea. This is Tess. Wait, so, Tony, you got to mute that. Uh, right, right, go ahead. Okay, so well, let me finish the email and then we'll come back to this. Now, we don't know if they contact each other via DMs or at a phone call, but in person. But do you guys think that finally Tesla will get all the dirt off her name and get a shot at working in a mainstream American company again? I mean, she's insanely talented. She can work heel and face. She can talk. She's good looking. And really, most companies actually need someone like her. P.S. Are you guys ever planning to live stream interviews with big name guests? I'll donate my home to you guys. If you ever get Meltzer to agree, you'll read my super chats to him on the air. Sucks. All right. So here's the comments. Uh, during an interview, the straight talk, Tessa Blanchard reflected on her personal struggles. Okay, honestly, so when everything happened to me, it was even a tough topic to even talk about. I remember I was living in Tijuana at the time, and I remember some days I would wake up. I didn't even have the strength day. So I'd go back to bed, and I would be in bed all day long. There were days when I was tired about life just because my identity was wrestling. I didn't know who I was without it. In a matter of less than 24 hours, from contract covers from the biggest companies, more money than I'd ever seen in my life, to nothing. From this whole storyline we had built for eight or nine months to be begging the the TNA office that day, like, I don't want to win it. I don't want to do this. After I didn't go home, I went to a 27-day media tour in Mexico where I remember we would pull over in the Uber before every interview and I would vomit. I was just puking and puking because I didn't know. It was whiplash I didn't know. I was seeing and hearing of my family. My little brother and sister was reading all these things about me that I knew wasn't me. I knew wasn't in my heart. I wasn't this person, but it didn't matter. Perception is reality, right? The truth doesn't matter. Even the real truth is out there is, is even out there and still doesn't matter. But you know, sometimes those things happen because when your feet are pretty pretty far off the ground, when you fall, you fall hard. I didn't know my identity without wrestling, and through all of it, through those ups and downs, those really hard days that I didn't know if I was going to get through, I found out who Tessa is is without wrestling. I went back to college, I joined Army ROTC, and I found out, hey, I'm good at other things too. Yeah, wrestling is my dream, and I love it, and this is what God's put in my life. But without wrestling, I'm going to be okay. There's a life after this, and one day I'll get hurt, or this isn't my life. I'm still going to be all right. I remember when I was going through some of these things. I remember one day at my dad's house, I was visiting family. I was just doing laundry. Well, where is the Tessa Blanchard? I'm not reading the rest of this. Oh, Chelsea Green had a response. Here's the Chelsea Green response. Okay. She, she went on another thing to talk about this, right? I don't wish to anyone. I hope she's found peace. However, a simple I am sorry goes a long way. We haven't heard that yet. Accountability matters, and a redemption tour of interviews want to erase the actions of an egotistical bully. Interesting. I worked with Tessa Blanchard. I did not get anything even remotely close to egotistical bully. And I did stuff with her for like three, three straight days. She was actually very respectful, very, you know, very, very easy to work with. Uh, but maybe she's not going to bully me. Though. <laughs> so what do you think about this? Coming? Well, you're not a, you're not a, a, another female wrestler. You're not, you might not, you can't take her. Right. Story, right. Maybe she was Co- very protective of her spot. I don't know. Yeah. Me. She was difficult to work with in Mexico. Her and Daga who were living in TJ together would show up late for just about everything. One time she bad mouthed Taya, which Taya is like my little sister which I did not appreciate. One time she told me point blank, I don't get about Mexico. I'm only here because of Daga. We'd be watching the monitor and she'd be like, well, why don't you do this? And why don't you do this? How come in Mexico they don't do this? I go, because it's not American wrestling. You're in Mexico, dude. You know, 
the girl that she had the racial thing with, which is Rosa Negra, who's a Puerto Rican chick who's very cool and she's very like religious. I asked her point blank. I go, did she say it? And she goes, yeah. She goes, but please, Carlos, you have a big mouth. Don't say anything. Don't bring my name into it. I don't want to, I don't want any of the drama, you know? And she, to Rosa Negra's defense, because she could have come out and said, yeah, she did say that to me. She didn't. So for her to say, oh, well, I don't know why people were saying this about me. That's all. She was very immature, very talented. Okay. And you also got to remember, bro, they had to beat Brian Cage, right? Right. And then she didn't want to drop the title or something and just left without dropping the title. Like she really didn't do business, good business on the way out. So maybe she has changed. Maybe she has matured, you know? Yeah. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe and join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive unedited uncensored content and being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.